Virgo. What's the word, y'all? What is going on, baby? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again one time for the one time. Yes, indeed, baby, to let you know what the energies is surrounding you for the month of June, mid-month, the 15th through the 31st. Ain't no damn 30, but the, the 15th through the 30th. Come on now, come on now. I'm messing up already now. Come on now. Come on now. Okay, now listen. Shout out to everybody who clicked this video. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Shout out to everyone who's been sending support to the page. We got some new decks today. We got the Zentero deck, okay? And then we also got here the Lenormand, all right? Light, what is this? The Healing Light Lenormand deck. Shout out to my baby 31 Shadows for sending that, all right? Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you guys, everyone that's been following me over there and sub subscribing, becoming a collector member. Um, a collector gatherers member over there on my patreon on my off week after i get these monthlies out i will be it might be a little bit dry on youtube because i'm going to be um doing my uh readings over there for my members and have exclusive you know daily collective readings and stuff like that as you know i have a 199 monthly membership tier um where you guys can submit questions or hop in on the live stream and get um membership exclusive readings where if you do not have enough money to uh, afford a personal or private reading a personal or private reading is an in-depth detailed reading like what i'm about to do for you guys right now if you guys can't afford that for 199 or 4 99 a month you guys can become a member and you'll have access to me and you'll be able to get um quick readings over there okay and typically what we do um you guys hop in on the live stream you can submit your questions on the live stream if you don't want to submit your questions on the live stream if you're not going to be available you can send me your question through patreon previous to the um live stream and then i'll just you know do your question like that okay now on the 4.99 tier we have exclusive adult content because we got a little freaky diggy nasty little nasty nasty little deck that y'all sent through amazon wish list mm. y'all been showing off on that amazon shout out to everyone who has been sending support and love to this page because you guys have been pushing me to grow i'm studying the norman now i'm studying cardamancy so y'all might be seeing me reading with playing cards now thank you guys for pushing me thank you guys so much because if it wasn't for the fact that y'all sent that nasty deck i wouldn't have found the patreon method to find an easier way for people who cannot afford personal or private readings to be able to do that and also we're in a private sector we ain't got the whole world wide web of youtube all in your readings you know what i'm saying so it's private so whatever come out it's back in the lair unless you remember you can't even get back there so shout out to all my members thank you guys so much for holding me down and we're gonna have a lot of fun because i will be over there next week okay so anyone that wants to book a personal or private reading if you want to send some love through patreon um if you want to sub subscribe on patreon if you want to send love and light through paypal or if you want to send something through the amazon wish list just to say thank you if these videos resonate or like i said if you want to book a personal private reading all those links are in the about tab okay and to book with me only thing you need to do is click that link that says scorpion race tarot and simply book as simply book me again scorpion press tarot as simply book me you book with me and then you link up you'll see my instagram link directly under that if you don't have instagram you can download an app called google hangouts and use my email address okay which is scorpion at gmail.com after you book your reading make sure that you send me a message on whichever platform you decide to use and so that you can link up with me so we can perform the reading there if you do not want to do a video reading if you don't want to have a live face-to-face -face video chat reading you can purchase a add-on okay Okay, it's called a video cap um, direct upload add-on okay so once you purchase your reading you can purchase that add-on as well if you don't want to get on camera with me you can um, select Instagram or Google Hangouts send me your question and I'll record the video in 24 to 48 hours you'll have your video uploaded to YouTube and I'll send you the link there make sure that you only tell me what you want to know okay tell me only what you want to know based on the reading that you purchase don't tell me the information surrounding why you're asking that question because I don't want you to say well I just told you that you know so only send me a question that you want to know and then we'll take it from there 
and i think that's it for the house announcements let's get into the reading oh the recap portion is if you are purchasing the reading and we're doing a live face-to-face -face chat and you want me to record it so i could upload it and you can have a private link to your reading so that you could watch it back forever forever ever forever ever you can also use that add-on for that all right now let's get into the reading father god Thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Virgo. Thank you so much for spreading love and light all through us. We are working hard, Father God. We are diligent in our pursuit of happiness. Father, we are diligent, working hard with our head up, our chin up, and our chest out, Father. All right? Towards our pursuit of happiness, Father God, continue to relieve us of any stress. Continue to release us from any type of burdens or debt that we have. Because we paying it all for we don't owe nobody nothing. Nathan, Nathaniel, Nanceford, not a damn thing. So, Father God, allow us to continue to move free and clear throughout this universe. To be able to collect and gather everything that our heart desires. Because Lord knows we work hard and we deserve it. Please give us guidance for the month of June, the 15th through the 30th. And thank you again for all the blessings and lessons that we've received in the past, present, and future. Thank you, Father God, for always being with us every step of the way. Father, give us guidance for my Virgos. Thank you again. All right. We got this for my Virgos. What is the word, baby? Virgo, what is the word, honey? What's the word with my babies? Give me guidance for my Virgos. One thing, oh, teaching and learning. Okay, that just came out for Leo. Y'all going through a teaching and learning experience too? That's what's up. Give me another card. Because I definitely just shuffled these cards, so. New beginnings. All right, come on. So teaching and learning experience right now for you, Virgo, to, to worry about number one and start a new beginnings for you. You went through a lot in this phase in your life. You are, your third eye is awakened. You see more clearly. You're able to make more wiser decisions. You're able to co communicate your mind's eye. And you're grounded in like, Working towards this new beginning, I told y'all, Virgo, like, <laughs> they're focused on number one, 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 one. If it's not their children, they focus on number one. You can't beat that with a bat. <laughs> we ain't about to start that again. You can't beat that with a bat. <laughs> you can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, because this is where it's at. You can get with this, or you can get with that. Hey, you can get with this, or you can get with that. Hey, engine, engine number nine on the New York Transit line. If my train goes off the track, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Back. Patience in reverse. I think somebody lied to y'all about expecting a child. Someone who was still clinging to the past. And you don't have no more patience with this person anymore. Receptivity. The creator. Yeah. And or this could be you guys um, still clinging on to the past with someone that you had uh, children with that it didn't work out. Like, you know, someone in that situation really didn't have patience. And then uh, I feel like whoever it was, it really wasn't like they were too anxious for whatever to grow. Like they were too eager it got impatient and I think start roaming around doing other things. And then by the time they came back to whatever it was that they initially started growing, they realized that the, the fruits and everything was overgrown. It was, it had spoiled, it had went bad. The miser. Okay. Okay. So this is what I'm getting, you guys. I want to, and, 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 and listen, 
If this doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate, okay? Only take what resonates. I do feel like there was a woman that might have been lying to a Virgo male and might have said that she was pregnant, um, and it wasn't true, okay? I don't necessarily take this as a loss of pregnancy. I take this as someone lying. It's somebody lying because it's someone that's clinging to the past. They're clinging to... Virgo has... Life has taught Virgo a very valuable lesson. Do you understand? They're focused on, number one, their new beginnings. They don't have patience in the situation no more. And I feel like someone tried to use the moon cycles to play tricks on somebody's emotions and try to make them seem like they lost, they, they, if they, if they said that they lost the baby and you never seen the belly start to sprout, the, the, it was a lie. It was someone still clinging on to the past. Someone still clinging on to an old picture of the way things used to be. And I see a lot of chatter with all these mouths. I, it's somebody that it's the only thing they keep talking about is the past, the past, the past. They keep bringing up past situations and shit. And that's why this this Virgo like I don't want I don't give a fuck about that shit no more. Like, listen, only thing I'm receptive to is creating new blessings and new abundance for myself. That's it. That's it. Me being emotionally fulfilled and receptive to healthy things in my life and me creating a new beginning. That's it. That's it. So, I'm sorry that you're trying to cling on to the past, but the miser is let it go. See, one thing about the miser is they don't hold on to dead weight. You see what I'm saying? If it's something that has lost its value, it's no point of keeping on and holding on to something anymore. Okay? So, this miser has released something because they have room in their carriage now to collect new valuables. This is like a hoarder of emotions. And Virgo is just like not receptive to that anymore. They're receptive to the future. They're receptive to creation of new beginnings. They're receptive to letting go of things that have no value in their life. Look. Certain things that used to mean something to them before, they don't mean a damn thing to them no more. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. I'm not holding on to no costume jewelry. Okay? Okay? Mm -mm. Let me get some clarification for my Virgos. Please clarify teaching and learning, new beginnings, patience in reverse, clinging to the past, receptivity, the creator, and the miser that is in the reverse. Clarify that for the Virgo, please. Oh, dog. Okay. Someone that you had a commitment with. Someone that you were a loyal companion, a companion with. Garden. It's like the gentleman in the bear. So, with this dog and with this dog in the garden, the dog represent a companion, companionate relationship, loyalty, um, protection, right? The garden is a place of communication. Somewhere to meet, uh, somewhere to discuss things, to negotiate, like a safe place, um, you know, a safe place for communication with this gentleman. With this gentleman, this represents a man in the situation. And then this is the bear. The bear represents also protection. It represents also aggression. It represents someone that's tall, someone that is 
like hefty has a big stature a big stature so let me read real quick and let you know all right so the dog the canine okay oh that's in spanish honey i can't read no spanish me no speaking no espanol okay the dog friendship loyalty faithfully faithful companion someone to be trusted and a best friend it donates neediness and dependency as well as unconditional love the dog with the bear is an advisor or a protective friend the dog in the tower shows a friend with powerful influence okay the garden is a place to meet a social invitation or lovers trias this is a social place represents openness inclusivity the garden is a place for community. It signifies green spaces, courtyards, recreation. All right? The gentleman, you already know what the gentleman is. And then the bear. The bear is someone big and strong, someone brave, protective. This is an imposing, powerful person, or maybe someone in a position of power. The bear could be a manager, a director, a chief exec, also someone of big physical build or a fierce maternal protectionism all right so i feel like this was a companionate relationship i feel like y'all met possibly like uh on social media or y'all y'all met in I want to say possibly a work environment. I want to say a work environment. Because with this bear, this could possibly be like a manager. And I see you guys used to meet up in a safe place. And it says a lover's trios. A lovers try us. Clarify this. Because I'm getting here. Someone might have created a companion relationship. And then. Someone created a companionate relationship. With this man of high stature. And y'all always meet each other in group settings. So it's like at work or it's like at a social event or it's like at a social gathering or something like that. Lovers, yeah. Y'all are lovers. This is a lover's trias. It's a companionate. Clarify the lovers, the dog, the garden, the gentleman, and the bear tower I mean the house oh I say the tower in thoughts y'all live with each other thoughts about what is it thought about letting this person in the house what are those thoughts about unexpected income coffin Oh, Jesus. So this person that, and I do feel like it might be a supervisor. It might be a supervisor. If it's not a supervisor, it's like a club. It's like some type of social group, like some type of club or something. But whoever this, whoever the gentleman is, is like the leader of, like is the head gentleman of this club, this clubhouse. I feel like it's a clubhouse or it's a group. It's an organization or, or something like that. You guys became lovers. It was just supposed to be companionate. Or this could even be like one of those sex groups. You know what I'm saying? Like one of them. Um, <sighs> wow. 
this could be like one of them little sex groups and like one of them little Facebook sex groups or something like that. And like y'all always meet up at like bowling alleys or y'all meet up at like um, museums or something like that. Like y'all do like these meetups and stuff like that where y'all meet and y'all mingle and stuff like that. It's like a lover's group group or something i don't know what they're called whatever y'all know what the fuck I, 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 don't, I don't know maybe i don't i don't know because i don't even know what i'm talking about i know what i'm talking about but i don't know the name for it um fetish groups boom like some type of fetish group like a bear fetish group or something like if there's anybody in the lgbg um tq community they know what that is but um yeah oh like a swingers group or some shit like that and like whoever the leader of this group is, and I know y'all, this all this is coming to me is wild as shit, but you never know who this might be happening to. But the leader of this group is like the highly sought over man of this house. Is the leader, is the and he's very tall, he's very attractive. Very attractive. And I feel like someone wants to have like exclusive access to this house or something. Or they just wanted this man. You understand? They didn't want to just be lovers. Like they wanted access to this house. But I feel like there was something in the way. There was something in the way with this unexpected income in the coffin. I feel like this person is having some thoughts here. Like, maybe by some type of form of persuasion or flattery or something like that. Or, you know, like an unexpected token of a gesture of something that maybe they can get this, 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 the gentleman to end whatever it is that they're doing maybe with someone else you know because i feel like this is a swingers club or something like maybe you met someone in a swingers club and i feel like through gifting and just like you know y'all try to like persuade this person to end this sex type of thing Give me guidance because I know I'm going to the left with that. But no, that's what I'm seeing. I'm sorry. Because it's like y'all meet up. Like you met this. If, you, if, if it's not something like that, it's some type of organization, like some fraternity, sorority, or like college group. Y'all all link up or something like that. And y'all have a social group. And they had gentlemen. Or the tallest, the tallest guy that's in the group. You guys became lovers. And you're trying to figure out a way to get in that house. Oh, okay. Okay. The nine of coins in reverse, though. Okay. So someone's not doing too good financially. Then you got the nine of cups. You're not doing good financially. You're not doing good emotionally. You got the death card. Oh, Jesus. What else we got going on here? What else we got going on? Is that it? And Queen of Coins. See, I didn't want to say that shit earlier. That's why I went to the left with the shit. I was trying not to say that shit. I was trying not to say this, y'all. But I'm going to have to say this shit. I'm going to have to say this. Someone who is just a lover with this gentleman here. They want to get in this house so bad, y'all, that they're having thoughts. You know what I'm saying? They're having thoughts that if an unfortunate accident happened, because remember, this was in the verse. If an unfortunate accident happened, that possibly they might get an unexpected blessing. You see what I'm saying? Like, there's some sick shit right here. <laughs> Like, you know, like the only way I'm going to be able to get this person is if I get the other person out of the picture. You know, it's not going to come. It's not going to just drop in my hand the way I want to. I'm going to have to get rid of this other person. I'm going to have to get rid of this other person. And I'm hoping they're not talking. But then the death card is right here. But I'm not, I'm not hoping they're not talking about it in a literal sense. I don't think they're talking just, just meaning 
just get rid of their energy out of the situation they need to this person needs to vanish and just go somewhere else basically but this person is not financially together they're not emotionally together um and i mean I don't want to say that this person isn't financially together. This person could just be like an entrepreneur or just doing something on their own financially, you know, and their business is just like on a downswing for like right now. And it's just hitting their pockets and it's hitting their heart too because like they're used to looking cute and having a certain amount of coin and stuff on them. And I definitely feel whoever this house is because this is a nice house. Like I said, this is the gentleman of the house. This is the gentleman of who uh, this this clubhouse. And they want this clubhouse. They want to be the head mistress of this clubhouse. And they're not going to be emotionally fulfilled or physically satisfied until they get rid of that old hag that's in that position because they want to be the queen of pentacles. Hmm. I did not want to fucking say that, y'all. I promise y'all I did not want to say that. I did not want to say that. <laughs> Give me the tea. We're going to find out what the tea is. We're going to figure out what the tea, what the tizzle is. No, uh-uh. And what does this have to do? Like, what does this person want? What does this person want, um, spirit? What does this person really want? We got different astral houses here, okay? We got the astral house of love. We got the astral house of marriage. We have the astral house of career. We have the astral house of happiness, success, and wealth. So I want to figure out what it is. Let's give me guidance for Virgo. What is it that this person wants from Virgo? Why is it that this person wants to obtain this position in this house? Give me guidance. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What is this person? What is this person trying to obtain? Career. Career. They feel like this person. It's something about this clubhouse or their affiliation to this clubhouse or them being the head mistress of this clubhouse. I feel like it gives them a certain level of stature being around this gentleman and the meeting up in this like community thing and it's like they want this position and they're not beneath like give me guidance whoever, whoever this person is I want y'all to watch this person okay that was a lot spirit thank you very much that was already flipped over yeah, I'm trying to tell you, this is like a sex group. This is a sex group, y'all. This is a sex group. I told y'all this is a sex group. First thing right out the bat, too much concern with sexual matters. But it's like the people that are affiliated with this sex group right here, it's like important people. Like this person is in this high, high established, this high official like sex group or something like this secret society sex group or some shit like that where it's like politicians it's like you get to rub shoulders with the upper echelons do you understand what i'm saying with the upper echelon and this little fucking weird little kinky group here yoke feeling tied down or frustrated okay i definitely oh give me one broken wish a wish will not be granted, though. A wish will not be granted for whoever this person is that's trying to... A wedge. Someone is trying to come between you, a friend, or something that you want. Y'all. A fair woman. This is a light-skinned woman or a dentist or a relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. If it's someone in your organization that has, like, blonde hair or extremely high yellow. Wishbone. Now the wish is being granted. Lord Jesus. Hold on. The hat. 
the wishes being granted for you, the Virgo, that hat. You would be playing a different role. But keep your eye on these hoes. Use your psychic abilities and your intuition in this situation. Like I'm trying to tell you. You see what I'm saying? A wish was not granted for them. I feel like, okay, this is it. Okay, now I'm getting it. Now I'm getting it. Maybe it's not a sexual organization. Maybe it's just an organization or a, a job or a committee or something like that. But it's something where you, Virgo, did what you were supposed to do. You were supposed to do what you, you did what you were supposed to do, right? You held yourself back. You were patient. You didn't give yourself the dumb shit. You were creative. You were emotionally balanced. You weren't tripping on old shit that didn't have nothing to do with nothing. And you actually did have patience and you waited for something to grow. This other person was playing games. They were... Focusing on, oh, I used to have this position. Oh, I used to do this, and I used to do this, and I used to do that. And I think that they seen the change in you, and they seen how... I feel like the Virgo is the gentleman. A wish wasn't granted for them because they tried to use sex... To yoke this thing in. You know what I'm saying? Because they were feeling tied down in the situation. They try to use sex. They try to have sex with someone. And use that to leverage their self. But that wish was not granted for that person. So now they're trying to create a wedge between you. A friend or something that you want. And this is a fair woman of extremely high yellow. Or... Has blonde, gray, or white hair. And this has something to do with your career and your social group. Because I feel like this person is trying to climb the social ladder by sex. And you didn't have to do that. The wish was just granted to you. And you got the role that this person wanted. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you got to watch this motherfucker that's saying that I, your psychic abilities... Use, trust your intuition. Watch this person because this person is plotting to get you out of this position. The crown. Honor and respect will come to you. New hat and honor and respect will come to you. The crib. Birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Listen, there it is, that enterprise. Lightning, control your anger or you will be sorry. Mm. This woman is trying to get in the in the way of your career. I don't know if you're a teacher, if you are in some type of social committee or some type of social sex sex. Well, I keep on saying sex. Sex I can't talk. Some type of social setting. If it's like a school or type of job or some type of social setting like that, this person is trying to use sex to leverage their way up in this career. If it's not a social setting in that way and it is a sex group, the sex group has a lot of high level official people in this group. And this person is trying to use their sex to rub shoulders with the right people in this group. But regardless of who they fucking they're not able to leverage their career in, in, in network and stuff like that through the sexual group. You're able to do that shit. And this person is going to try to do something. And this person is going to do something to fuck with you. Give me guidance and love. Oh, shit. I'm going to blow all across my flow. Okay. What is this saying? Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. I don't know if this is the Virgo or if this is the person trying to get in Virgo's way. But whoever it is saying is, you're trying too hard. Give it time. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and your memories you have shared with those that you love. So it's like you can't possess things. You can't possess people. You can't... 
Shit. Always. All fucking ways. I just feel like, okay, people playing. Hello? No, this is, what, what's going on? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Just call the wire before you go pick them up, okay? Uh, no, bring, bring them home. Yeah. Okay, cool. I was about to say, what the... Okay. Sorry, you guys. That was nice. That's my kid's father. He's coming to surprise my kid to take him to the mall. That was nice. All right, so what is this? It says, a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So, in regards to love, Virgo, this is what I'm getting, okay? You guys might have to take your time in regards to a situation in love and just realize that, you know, the finer things come in time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what is it? The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. Like, you know, and in that... With me saying that, let me go back up here to this patience, okay, in reverse. So we get it, the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. And this is what this person tried to do, right? With that in mind, they thought that they could plant a seed, go skip off, go do whatever the hell they want to do, take their eyes off of it. No, you still have to get the, you got to cut the weeds and you have to nurture, you have to water <laughs> the plant. Like you have to give it time and attention. You can't just plant a seed and just walk away and don't give it no love. You understand what I'm saying? That's what this person did. And they thought the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice, like I'm supposed to only wait two weeks. I'm going to give it three weeks because by that time it's going to be real juicy. And when you came back, it was too juicy. It was rotten juicy. You see what I'm saying? It no, 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 no. That's like you you weren't able to receive your full harvest. Do you understand what I'm saying? So give things time, but don't give it too much time. You understand? Because the sweetness that life has, you have to experience it while it's here. You can't multitask, but don't. You can't, you're not an octopus. You understand what I'm saying? And this message for you, I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. There's someone that is either coming to you, new beginnings. This is someone that's coming to you. Give me guidance here. Give me guidance about this love. Because I think that you guys might be single in love, right? Because I'm really getting single. I'm really getting single. This is screaming single. This is someone. Because up there it looks like they walked away from somebody. And there's somebody that's been clinging on to them about something in the past. And it's someone that's. Mm -mm. Virgo is creating new beginnings. Like they're not. The chariot, okay? Moving forward victoriously, emotionally secure, balanced. The page of wands and messages of new beginning, excitement, new news, new beginning, passionate, new, desirable beginnings. What is this? The four pinnacles in reverse. Because you stopped giving yourself the motherfucking shit that wasn't growing right. It's like I'm not going to give my time and and put my patience and put my effort in, in a situation trying to build something with somebody that don't 
want to put the effort in with me. The eight, I mean, the six of wands. I want a success and recognition. I want someone that's going to be there with me the whole time. You can't be there with me to plant the seed, dip off, and then you want to come back when you want some um, blueberry cobbler. No, bitch. That ain't how the fuck that shit work. Do you understand what I'm saying? The queen of swords in reverse. You know, it's like... The Queen of Swords in reverse is someone that can be manipulating because they are very intelligent and they think that they know how the insides of people tick. They can be um, very vulgarly disrespectful, can say a lot of hurtful, mean things. And... I don't know if like, because you know Virgo's an earth sign. Two swords, yeah, they took that blindfold off. They didn't, they, Virgo doesn't like that energy. Virgo is charging for triumphantly and successfully. New beginnings, okay? So Virgo might be flirting online, might be sending a lot of text message with someone new. They feel confident. They feel victorious. They feel... I feel a a, a a a air of newness. Like they really gave. Like I can even see Virgo like taking somebody's old clothes, throwing that shit away. Just shit that just don't have no motherfucking value and no business being around them in their life. That shit taught them a, 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 a good lesson. It taught them a lesson. His new beginnings, look. They're like, I'm free. I'm free, bitch. I'm free. Hold on, ding -a swing. Like, you... <laughs> Remember when we was younger, like, the little fucker boys, they would have, uh... When we was, like, at middle school and shit like that, they would come to school with their sweatpants on and shit, free balling. They'd be like, ding -a -ling swing. they move their hips back and forth, like, I'm free, ding -a -ling swing. You out there free balling, okay? What? Okay? <laughs> I'm free. No more. No more mental manipulation. No more getting cussed out, disrespected, belittled, dealing with someone lying, a manipulating cheater. You know, that had my mind mentally wrapped in twist and twirl, ready to earl. Felt like I was going through a goddamn mental roller coaster with this person, just not able to think clear and make decisions wisely because you got somebody playing. On your heartstrings. You know, someone playing on your heartstrings and playing games with you and stuff like that. And Virgo is so happy to be free of that. And if they let that go, they just feel successful on their own. I don't even think that they even give a shit. Like, they don't give a shit right now. They, they, as long as it's not that, like, they good. You know what I'm saying? And Virgo might very much so be into some, like, little second group or something like that right now. Because they fucking single. <laughs> They're not looking for no commitment. Okay, this failed. They're not looking for... I don't see nothing about no commitment, but it is somebody that really has an eye on Virgo. Because that message for you, what is this? I'm thinking of you this very moment. You fill me with love and light. I love you. There's someone that has some type of crush on you or something. But clearly, I mean... Yeah. Seeking you shall find in love like they on some love abounds. Yes, Virgo. Virgo is in a place of peace. They out of this isolation and sadness. Come on. I'm, Virgo might be in some little freaky sex group, y'all. Don't put it past no Virgo. Look, they taking the lead. Ooh. Come on, Virgo. Lead. I told you. Virgo is the lead in something solar plexis because they're fucking, they're, they're the fucking man. Virgo is the man. And someone, listen, okay. Virgo is the lead in some organization. They're the lead in something. They're out there seeking, I shall find, love, love abounds. Like, I don't know, like, y'all on some old hippy dippy ass shit. Like, I'm trying, this somebody is some type of sex group. <laughs> This is what I'm getting, like free love, free. <laughs> Are you sad? Let me take you out of this isolation and sadness. Ding a ling swing. It's like no, <laughs> <laughs> they taking the lead. Like they are the lead. They are the lead. And whoever this person is, it is some 
woman that ever wants to lead. She wants her way in that house because you're the headmaster and she wants to be the headmistress. Okay? Y'all are just companions now. But she wants to be more than just your dog. Okay? Because you're the big bear. She wants to be with the big bear. She wants to be the gentleman of the house. Okay? And it ain't beneath her for her to feel like for her to advance herself and her career and whatever this endeavor is because it's something that also has to do with your career. It's something about your position as this lead. This person feels like it will advance their career or as Virgo is doing this, but I don't feel like this is Virgo. Virgo is the lead. Give me guidance about this love. Y'all help me make this make sense for me. And y'all let me know if y'all some freaky group. Y'all let me know what the name of it is. <laughs> we Facebook, Facebook. Jealousy, I told y'all. Jealousy, love and desire, support. This person is jealous because... This person, you had sex with this person, especially if y'all in a sex group. You had sex with this person and this person thought that by them having sex with you that they were going to make you fall in love and that they were going to be supported and protected by you in this group and they're not. And they're jealous. And it's stinging them. And that's why them other cards came out because whoever it is that you currently have your attention on right now, they're like, um, I'm about to get this bitch the fuck up out of here. Now, how extreme that means, I don't know. Yeah, because, like, they don't have access to this door no more. Like, they can't, they don't, they can't come in that door like that no more. Uh-huh. And they thought about giving up the poem. Yeah, and lying about a pregnancy. They thought about, they, <sighs> bitch. Didn't I fucking tell you? I told you. These motherfuckers was jealous. It's jealous, okay? Because they want to be the head mistress. Okay? They're jealous that you're not in love with them the way that they're in love with you. They thought that by giving you the poon tang, that they would be protected and supported by you, but they're not. They still don't have access to this door. They weren't able to make that smooth transition by using their body the way that they thought that they was. So they thought the next best thing is to lie to you about having a motherfucking baby and that that was going to motherfucking make things fucking pop. And that was going to get her closer to the lead. Sir, sir, no, no, I got to no, absolutely the fuck not. We're going, we're going deeper into this because if you thought I wasn't, you motherfucker don't know me, bitch, because I fucking told you. Didn't I tell you up there from the beginning it was someone fucking about to lie about a pregnancy, talking about this bitch, bitch, tell me what's going on in the darkness with this situation. Bring the darkness to the light. What's going on with this person? What is going on with this person? What is going on with this person, Father God? Tell me what is going on out in the dark and bring it to the light in the name. Father, give me guidance. What's going on? Oh, they trying to fill a void. It looks like them other ones weren't big enough, huh? If it don't fit, you must have quit. What, what's going on in the darkness with this situation? Irresponsible. Irresponsible. Childish. Elusive. Impossible. Ruthless. I told you, bitch. Then I tell you, y'all dealing with some ruthless little neck girl. Impossible. Bitch. This person was trying to fill a void with Virgo, but they weren't able to scratch that itch because it's impossible. Virgo ain't want to be with you like that. It's impossible. Bitch, it was impossible, bitch. You were hella childish as fuck, and you mad as hell. You out here playing these childish ass motherfucking games lying about a goddamn child being childish as hell. That made Virgo be more elusive. Okay, because you thought that you was going to play your cards, but you ain't playing right. Because that was impossible. Bitch, that was impossible. Okay? 
So now you need to get over your ruthless ass attempt. Because whoever Virgo currently has their eye on this bitch is literally... If she could, if a woodchuck chuck, if a woodchuck could chuck wood, that bitch will come and drag both of y'all by y'all goddamn skulls. But it's impossible, bitch. I'm reloading. So, look, y'all watch out for these hoes. Y'all watch out for these snakes and fakes, bitch. Because it's impossible. You already see what Virgo sisters and them came and did, right? Didn't you, bitch? Didn't you? Listen, y'all better go and look at that other video. I beat that ass with a bat. I beat that, whatever. I beat that, whatever. Hold on. 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 I beat that. <laughs> Let this be a teaching and learning experience for you. You better go back and look a couple of videos back because Virgo got some people that got they back that. Virgo be like, hoo hoo And like the whole neighborhood be coming out. And Virgo go pull out a lawn chair and just be watching people get fucked up. So, um, yeah. I think that's why this person is thinking about it, but ain't really acting on this ruthlessness. Because you seen it was like that. It was like, impossible. I'm gone, bitch. Ha! <laughs>